All right, good morning. Welcome back to the shop. Again, my lift is graced with a customer's car. Not really commendable in any way. It's just a Camry. They're great cars, but as you guys know, I work on a lot of micro cars. You can't see them because they're all covered up. There's six of them right in that area there, all cool, classic, cool micro cars. And if we walk out to the yard here, we've got cars piled upon cars. Uh, there's stuff everywhere, even in the bushes, stashed in the corners, you know, everywhere. A uh, Subaru 360 van, a Kia Towner, a BMW Isetta, another Subaru 360 van, a Suzuki, mm, Super Carry, every, Super, every something, working on the body, finally got that figured out. There's multiple Subaru 360s, a Lloyd, uh, some special cars in the back there little Honda 600 I'm doing some work on. Also working on another customer's Toyota Sienna, and a Citroen, a Pinsgauer. But as a host of microcars, I feel like a rescue, like, like a dog rescue person or a cat rescue or a pet rescue. I rescue old junk and people know that and they bring me stuff. What's under this tarp, I have never worked on before in my life. I, not, not this genre of, of a car. Yeah, or is it a car? I don't know. Tell me what you think. First peek. Somebody donated this to me this week. It's pretty cool. It does have a steering wheel. It does have a fiberglass body. It's got a six horsepower engine in there. And we'll pull this out and take a better look at it. It's an old bumper car. You can see the uh, hard tires. It's got hard tires and the bumpers on the side. We'll pull this out and take a good look at it here in a second. All right, so I rolled out our latest micro car. You can see the size difference between the red micro car, the Honda in the back, and our bumper car micro car here in the front. Oh, I don't know where to begin on this thing. It's got a fiberglass body. It's taken a, a shunt to the front. Probably fix that. It has really unique tires. They're slicks, but they're extra thick slicks. It seems like they're pneumatic, but they don't have any air in them and they're staying somewhat inflated, I guess. Put some air in them, see what happens. Maybe they're like a run flat. There is some type of a, a, VIN, a VIN card, I guess. I guess that might be the maker. The steering feels good. And it's got a uh, Honda engine in it. Let's see if we can make this thing go. I don't know if I can do it right now, but it's in queue with all the rest of the cars. Kind of a sneak preview. See what you guys think about that. It's odd having such a small car grace my door. I'm gonna put some air in these tires. These tires are really strange. They seem like they're run flats, but they're flat. I mean, they're the bead is broken. There's no air in there, but they're still supporting. They're not flat. I don't know. They're really stiff. Must be some special type of go-kart or bumper car tire. Let's put some air in them and see how it works. Well, I put air in it and it immediately goes flat. I think it's got a tube. Just completely leaks out. It's a split rim, so I suppose it wouldn't be that hard to change. I'm gonna figure out where to find some tubes. Let's move on to the next one. I think it's gonna be the same. This one's leaking. Crazy tires. Let's see how long that holds. All right, so we're getting to the meat and potatoes. We took the body off. This tire, the air valve is on the inside, which is kind of crazy. Pumped it up, a bunch of water came out. This thing is very well built. It's rusty, but look at the grease 
fittings there on that, uh, you call that a block, pillow block. We've got a engine here. I wonder if it's got any oil in it. It's an old Honda engine. Oh, that's weird. The dipstick is, it's got oil in it. No dipstick. We've got a belt drive system here. How's that look? Is that a clutch? Oh, it's just a tensioner. This is our brake. We may want to adjust that. It's got a lot of play in it. Exhaust, muffler. Ooh, that smells bad. Spark plug is bent. Oh, it's welded. It's melted to the muffler. That ain't gonna work. This is the muffler, this is our spark plug, and it's completely fried. Well, that's not gonna work at all. Thing will never run. Oh, oh, and the spark plug just shattered. Look at that. This thing has not lived a very good life. You gotta get a new spark plug. Let's clean it up. That's never gonna work. Look at that. Just broke. All right. Well, and this is that's broken. Man, people just trash stuff. Uh, so what do we got? What do we got here. I don't know what this. Oh, that's a throttle. That's a throttle. Honda 5.5. Does. What a mess. I gotta go through and sort this out. It's got an on switch. Hmm. So, what do we got for a chassis here? We got a go pedal. That is the worst thing I've ever seen. It doesn't even contact the thing back here. And then a brake pedal. Oh. Well. Pretty old, beat up bumper car cart. Let's see if we can make something of this. Spark plug is terrible. We got no compression, not even a little bit. Let's see if squirting a little oil in there might help. Well, that totally blows. No compression. Ugh. Well, we're going to try something here. Aha. Uh -huh. 
That is not supposed to be that way. How did that happen? Very, very loose. Oh, that one popped off. I think the valves are stuck. Okay, we got some work to do here. So it looks like our go-kart won't start because the valves were stuck and or the rockers fell off or there's an issue with the valves. Um, when I played with it, a valve lash cap popped off. I have a feeling one of them is down in the sump. I'm gonna try to make one out of a, I think it's a 1 8 pipe plug. I think it'll work. I just gotta machine it down a little bit, make it fit and then readjust the valves. So let's try that. I'm gonna drill this out, see if I can make this work. I got my valve lash cap in there. Now this one's too tight, and this one's too loose. Let's see if we got compression though. Seems like it. Well, maybe not, because this valve is probably staying open. Okay, I gotta do some adjustments here. Gotta grind this valve lash cap down that I made. It's too tall. Can't get any adjustment. Okay, so we got our valves adjusted on the um, stroke. They should both be loose. I pull on this. We now have much more resistance on the starter, and we have both rockers working. Let's do a quick compression test and see what we got. Okay, we got something. What do we got? 50 PSI? I think it's supposed to be more than that. But at least we got something. Recheck my valves here. Six should go tight. Yep, it does. It's pretty tight. It might be too tight. And then I'll check the exhaust should be eight. When I took my valve cover gasket off, it got ripped a little bit. So I'm just gonna put a little dab of silicone right on the ripped spot. Should fix that up nice. Okay, so we're gonna put a new spark plug in because we fouled our other, our other new spark plug. We're gonna give this thing a crank. And we might spray a little bit of... Whew, it doesn't smell too bad. A little rancid. Our choke and fuel on. Oh, I'm excited. I hope it runs. Hold on. Okay, we're going to put a little shot of starting fluid down in the hole. I don't know what's going to happen. I think we're good. We're on. Yep, we're on here. We got gas. This thing could take off. I think this is the throttle. And that should be. Yeah, so that's full throttle and that's idle. I'm gonna put it on idle, see what happens here. Come on, baby. Yeah! Choke on here. crashed in the shop. I think we got something though. <laughs> I gotta jack it up. Okay, so we got our go-kart up on a block now. I did not expect it to take off and crash through the wall of the shop. I am noticing a couple things here. The throttle spring right here is not hooked up, so I'm gonna fix that first before I try to restart it. You know, the more I look at this, this whole thing is bent. The throttle rods are jammed underneath here and they can't move, they're solid. This carburetor intake is slanted toward the front of the cart. There's a huge dent. Somebody dropped dropped this whole thing on this corner. I think I gotta take this apart and figure out how to, how to make this work. 
Okay, so I can make it run. I'm starting for it. It's not getting any fuel. Carburetor's bent. That wheel bearing is really noisy. But she runs. And that's pretty cool. So I'm going to stop the video here. And next time I'm going to do a video presentation on how I fix all this. It's all completely bent. I didn't notice that before in my adrenaline rush to get this thing running. So, all right. Thanks for watching. Glad to know this thing runs. And I uh, hope I inspired you to fix your go-kart if you have one. It's all rusted out. I don't know where this thing came from. But we might find out if you have any tips or tricks or have any ideas of where this go-kart came from. Please post it in the comments. Thanks for watching.